Good morning guys and welcome to part two of my Comatech EX430 upgrade review. This is my little garage and today we're going to go through some of the components that are changed during the EX430 upgrade and why they change those components. So the whole ethos really behind the EX430 upgrade is to increase airflow through the engine and therefore allow the engine to produce more power. Some of the components that are fitted in the stock car are restrictive and therefore those get stripped out. So what we have here are the two original manifolds and these are the free caps. As you can see, we have one on each. Now, part of the downside of this particular design is that the caps lie quite close to the V6 lump in the car. The caps produce quite a lot of heat. The engine produces quite a lot of heat and that has the combined effect of potentially increasing heat soak, and that's not a good thing. In order for an engine to produce maximum power, you need to control those temperatures. So with that in mind, Comatec replaced these manifolds with straight through manifolds, which eliminates that overheating potential. They fit an HGS sports cap further down the line, so you still get some of your emissions control, but on the whole, it produces a much better flow of gases through the exhaust system. Another main component that is replaced during the process is this big plastic lump over here. This is the original Toyota TRD airbox. It comes as a package really from Toyota with the V6 engine. Um, it's designed by Toyota with emissions and regulations in mind. But to that end, unfortunately, it's not the most efficient airbox. And therefore, as part of the upgrade process, Comatech replaced that airbox. The other major component that they replace is the pulley on the supercharger. They reduce the pulley. The effect that has is it works the supercharger harder and allows it to produce more power. And therefore, again, has the enhanced effect of increasing airflow and more power ultimately. What we're going to do now is have a quick look inside the engine compartment. There's not a huge amount to see, but you'll get to see the uh, Comatech airbox and how that looks different from the original Toyota TRD unit. So we're going to move over to the engine compartment here. For those of you who have seen them before, it looks pretty much like a stock 350S engine compartment with your supercharger sitting on the top there. If we get the camera a little bit further inside, over here we have our lovely carbon fibre Comatech airbox. Originally it's secured with a fairly flimsy bungee strap, but I've replaced that with a more secure nylon one. That airbox actually on its own is a very expensive thing, um, about £1,500 I believe. I'm not sure whether I'd pay that much for it on its own as uh, an individual upgrade. Um, it is reasonably nice quality, but I'm not really sure it's worth that amount. The box itself contains a K&N air filter. For those of you in the know, K&N, a very popular air filter manufacturer for cars. So in effect, those are the main component changes that you get in EX430. The only other main change is the map. As I said in my driving review, the map is much more aggressive than the standard map. And it does produce a good deal more torque and power. And um, I, I'm generally really happy with the upgrade um, it's perfect for road driving. Any, qu any questions at all, just comment below. But that's it for today, guys. That's the end of part two.